In the UK, many are struggling to afford to heat their homes in the approaching Northern Hemisphere's winter. But as Tom Palmer reports, warm spaces have been created across the country to help as many as two in three households get through the cold. If you needed another indicator of where this cost of living crisis is taking us, it's here in the Players' Lounge at Greenside Cricket Club. There you go, 20 degrees. And that'll mean you put a warm space. Warm space. Just in the borough of Gateshead, there are 65 venues opening their doors for people who need somewhere warmer than their own homes this winter. It's Victorian, isn't it? It's a bit odd. It's just something I've never thought of or expect, like, Societally, it's just a huge thing like that. There's people, not even just people, you know, on universal credit going to struggle. It's like, it's, it is universal. Everybody's going to struggle. It's just it's hideous, really. And I'm just so pleased that we can do this. People's energy bills are just one part of the puzzle. The clubhouse here already doubles as a weekly food market. Three pounds buys you the pick of what's on offer. You don't really care when you're seven months old, but Lena's mum is feeling it. I think the fact that people are going to have to come here to sit to be warm, I mean, come on, it's like, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Jess is hoping she won't need to come here for heat, but they're expecting that many others will. And this is happening all over the UK, and quite simply, it's never been needed before. And the problem that all of these venues have got is that quite often, when people leave them, they'll still be going back to cold homes. The UK government has intervened and limited the rises in household energy bills, along with various discount schemes. But for so many families, it still isn't enough when the price of everything else is soaring. So we predict that by January, as many, many as two and three households could be really struggling with essential household expenses. Now, that's a terrible number. It, I think it equates to something like 24 million households. As a network, we're expecting a tsunami of demand to come through our door. They will do what they can, but people here don't want warm spaces. They want warm homes. They want to live, not just to survive, inside a cricket club. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.